Old words we still use today and where they originated from. During the Victorian times, the lowest form of accommodation you could pay for was access to a rope to hang over so that you wouldn't have to sleep on the floor. This form of accommodation was usually taken up by stumbling drunk people. This is where the saying hung over came from. Also in the Victorian era, a landowner named Captain Charles Boycott tried to evict poor tenant farmers from the houses they were living in. In response, the locals came together and refused to deal with him at all. No labor, no service, nothing. The newspapers picked up on this story and soon, to boycott someone meant to cut them off completely. The word Bluetooth originated in the 10th century as it was a nickname for a Danish king named Harold Bluetooth Gormson. He united Denmark and Norway just as Bluetooth unites devices. The crazy thing is the Bluetooth logo combines old Nordic letters representing H and B. Back in the late 1800s, British sailors would spend weeks, sometimes months, at sea, battling rough waters in isolation. Over time, the long voyages wore them down, and those who grew irritable or short-tempered were nicknamed salty. These grumpy sailors gave rise to the term we still use today. When someone's clearly moody or bitter, we say they're being Made salty. From. During the Victorian times, thieves in London came up with a new tactic to make it easier to rob people of their belongings. One thief would grab the victim's leg while the other stole from them. This sneaky act eventually became the joking phrase, pulling someone's leg. Also during the Victorian era, portrait paintings were still very popular, especially amongst the wealthy. But working class people would often save up their money to get one. It was cheaper to be drawn just from the shoulders up. The more limbs you wanted to be painted, the more the artist would charge you. So requesting your arms and legs to be drawn quite literally cost you an arm and a leg. In the year 1801, when the British Empire was fighting against Napoleon and the French, an admiral named Admiral Nelson was ordered to retreat, but instead he raised his telescope to his blind eye and said he didn't see the signal and carried on fighting. That's where the common phrase to turn a blind eye comes from. Back when ships got trapped in frozen seas when delivering cargo to ports, the port would send men out with axes, hammers, even explosives, just to smash a path through solid ice before everyone on board froze to death. And that's where we get the phrase, break the ice.